Welcome back to another episode of the Queen of the Sun Grown YouTube channel, the Auto Flower Dining Room Experiment. So the point of these videos is really to just test these auto flowers, Alaskan Banana Berry from Seedsman Genetics, and see how they do with low light, minimal inputs. Now I was gone for a week in Georgia visiting family, and my husband was here taking care of the plants, but he forgot to take care of them. So, after one week of being completely neglected, they were in desperate need of water, but they were not wilted. Luckily, these pots are amazing at holding moisture, and the temperature is pretty low in my house. There was no more fungus gnats. Those have been taken care of, thank the diatomaceous earth. But I had aphids everywhere. So there are some aphids in my husband's garden, and it appears that they made their way upstairs. So aphids can grab onto clothing, arm hair, um, and they can move around very easily. So if you have multiple gardens on your property in your home and one garden has aphids, it's more than likely if you're not on top of your IPM, Integrated Pest Management, you're going to get aphids. And so I was spraying them weekly, but they missed an entire week of spray. And I came back to aphids. So we're going to talk about integrated pest management for aphids, what to do for them in vegetative and in flowering. So this is just barely starting to flower. The rest of my varieties are a little bit further along. So the thing that I did is, first of all, let's talk about IPM. The three pillars of IPM, cultural, biological, and chemical. So cultural are your practices as the gardener. So making sure that you're not cross-contaminating your gardens, going into one that's infested and then going to the other, um, maintaining a schedule for spraying and just being on top of preventative, um, and then physically and manually removing them. So as you can see, I am just killing these aphids, squishing them right where they are. So the first thing I did is just that. I went through and I smushed these aphids with my fingers. And you can simply run your finger up and down the stems and crush as many as you can that are on there. And since these plants are relatively small and there's only five of them, I did go ahead and use a paper towel with some isopropyl alcohol and just wiped down the plant so wiping these down with alcohol um, any of you know when you get alcohol in your hands it really dehydrates them dries them out aphids are soft-bodied insects and just by applying a little bit of alcohol you can dehydrate them and dry them up killing them so that is a chemical process combined with a cultural, which is the physical, mechanical removal of them. And then biological would be if I had ladybugs or entomopathogenic fungi, which I'm going to do. I'm going to spray them with the entomopathogenic fungi, but in order for that fungus, which let's break it down for you. Ento meaning insect, pathogenic, entomopathogenic means a fungus that will kill insects. So we are going to do that next week though because the first spray I'm using is going to coat the insects and kill them and I'm going to use a Jadam wedding agent sent by my friends, Patreon supporter and member, awesome guy. He does all things Jadam and KNF and he has this Jadam, Jadam, whatever the hell it's called, wedding agent that he sent me. Um, so the ingredients on here are potassium hydroxide, canola oil, and distilled water. So I've gone ahead and mixed, this is one to 1,000 ratio. So the tiniest amount of the Jadam wedding agent, went ahead and added some potassium silicate, that silica for strengthening those cell walls, and then a little bit of aloe. Aloe contains salicylic acid, which is a plant hormone that aids in stress response. 
especially for tissue damage. on your skin so it's really good if there is any tissue damage from you know aphids because those aphids what they do is that they suck sugar that's produced by the plant through photosynthesis and they feed on it and then they excrete it out of their butts and that's called honeydew they suck it up so quickly that it shoots out their butts funny and interestingly funny enough aphids um, produce this honeydew and ants love to eat it so if you've got aphids check around for ants and there's some tips and tricks for killing ants um, but they will farm the aphids so that they can drink that honeydew out of their butt freaky little ants all right so I have wiped down this plant killed mechanically killed aphids and now I'm going to spray them with the Jadon wetting agent, the potassium silicate for that silica, aloe, and of course, can't forget a little bit of yucca, yucca root extract, literally the tiniest amount, a pinch goes in there, surfactant, we want that to spread and stick nicely to the plant. And there you have it. I have gone ahead and I've done cultural, chemical, and I haven't done any biological, but I will do a biological uh, tack on them next week, and that is what IPM is. It is layering all of these different processes of activities or management systems that attack your pests all from all different angles, which is really important. Um, preventative is definitely the best, and there's lots of ways you can do that. That uh, Dr. Bronner's alcohol, uh, essential oil, Spraying on your plants through the vegetative cycle is one way of, to prevent them. Um, obviously, the silica is a great preventative of just strengthening it. Um, and once you have the aphids or any pest, first thing you want to do is confirm that it is what you think it is. So aphids are six-legged, mites are eight-legged, mites are related, you know, arachnids, eight-leg, bugs, six-leg. So that's one way to just, you know, determine if you have an aphid or a mite. Look and count how many legs there are. Um, and then figure out what species it is. With aphids, it's really easy. Aphids stick to the plant that they are, um, you know, every plant species, not every plant species, but um, every aphid species has a plant that it prefers. So if it's on your cannabis, then it's a hemp aphid and I have full IPM plan on my patreon with recipes and protocols for how to treat them um, you can check that out at patreon.com otherwise just watch this video because this is really gonna help you over the next couple weeks I'm going to annihilate these aphids they're going to be dead and um, my plants aren't gonna be any worse for the wear, you know, they'll probably actually be babied a little bit more because I'm paying a lot more attention to them. So we have our plants one week neglected. They've been watered, so they're and I actually, oh, I did want to tell you one more thing. And um, this is somebody who mentioned in the comments, and I have bottom watered before, but I wasn't even thinking of it. And so for the fungus gnats, um, I literally just put some water down below in this tray and the way these pots are made the fabric is down low about here where you see that seam there's no plastic there so you can fill up and they can soak up water down below and this is an excellent way to manage your fungus gnats so that would be another cultural practice for preventing fungus gnats so IPM is amazing. You should all be practicing some forms of IPM before there is a problem because once you have a problem, then it's a lot more work to get rid of it than it is to prevent it. So before I left, I had been preventing uh, infestation because I was spraying them, checking them, always keeping an eye on them. And since they were neglected for a week, you know what? I'm actually pretty happy with how they look for 
not being taken care of for one week. And that's the whole point of this experiment, right? Is to see how easily managed these auto flowers from Seedsman and Genetics are. And don't forget, you can get 10% off your next order using Sungrown 10. Thank you guys. And if you like this video, leave a like, comment, share it. And if there's something that you particularly want to talk about or have me discuss, um, let me know in the comments below. And I look forward to chatting with you on Thursday. That's become quite a fun live stream evening.